Oh, what are you look. What a lovely day. It's a bit wet out there. It's been raining literally all week, so haven't had anything to film for you lot. So I thought perhaps you'd like to see a little bit of progress that I'm doing on the uh, Lightning GTX2. So I've got another receiver. This is the second one. The first one I bought a couple of weeks ago. Well, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. It was 40. Wouldn't turn on. Not a single dicky bird. So I sent it back. And then this one literally turned up today. Another one. So hopefully this one, you'd think, you'd think that they would have tested it to make sure that it does work rather than send out two potentially faulty ones. But we'll find out. Hopefully it does work. Also, Mr. Joey Nitro from, uh, what's his name? Um, RC Hobbies SOS. He sent me a, uh, a battery, look, and he's put on there. He's put a bit of writing on there. He sent me a battery, because I think he bought too many by the sounds of it. Got himself a new car, and he bought too many hump packs. So, uh, he's, uh, sent me that one. It's, it's complete with, uh, complete with grass inside it and everything. Bloody hell. Cool, they're giving you batteries these days with grass in them. Well, perhaps the factory's got too much grass and wants to get rid of some. So, I am absolutely knackered. You know when you, you, you keep just dropping off like that, you, 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 you feel in a constant daze. You're constantly like a bit dizzy and you're like, and you just constantly daze. And then the minute you, you just drop off and you think, oh, and then you wake up and again, bloody hell, I tell you. I tell you, I had a nap about an hour ago, driving home from work. Just uh, We had an early early shoot, so I come home at lunchtime because it was raining and it's a bank holiday. Four days off of work, you see. And uh, driving home and I kept doing that. I was thinking, oh, I've got to make it home. Make it home. So tired, you know, so tired. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's stick this receiver in that truck and see if it's actually going to be any good. Not a lot going to happen. It's, it's so wet out there. Everything is flooded. You know, uh, you know, can't every, everywhere. Um, the parks are closed. You know, I don't think you can't even go in there. I went past the park. The barriers shut. You can't get in there. Probably could walk through it. I could do, but it's too wet. I'm not going out. Anyway, let's go and have a look. So, where we're at with this, I haven't done anything with it since the last time I drove it because I needed to take the receiver back out of it again and stick it in. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything on for Taba. Um, I'm going to have this Fly Sky thing, and I've got quite a few receivers for this because good old Bo sent me quite. A, he sent me four or five second-hand receivers, plus I've got the receivers I had anyway. So the Fly Sky is going to be for all the little bit, the things that I'm just testing. You know, I stick a Fly Sky receiver in it and test it. The models that I've actually got that are mine, I'm keeping, they're going to be on Futaba. Because I like Futaba. Um, I like quality, although it's all made in China these days, but it's about as good as quality as you're going to get. Um, that air filter's at it really, it's starting to fall apart. But yeah, so I took the receiver out and I put it back in the... Uh, buggy that it come from but now uh, yeah so what I've got to try and do is I've got to remember what one plugs into what so let's get to it shall we Right, so I set this up and I realised to myself perhaps it would be handy if I told you not how to set this up. So if you've got the three channel receiver, like the one here, that's probably never going to focus. If you've got one like this, <laughs> sorry about this, the focusing is, there we go. So if you've got this you need to, and you need to mix up, you've got twin steering servos. If you've got a four channel receiver, right, normally channel four is the mixed one. But if you've only got a three channel receiver you need to do a few extra little things. So 
hopefully we'll get a little bit of focus maybe maybe not I don't know I'll, tr I'll just try my best on it for you so the first thing you've got to do well it's not necessarily the first but you've got to go into reverse and you've got to have steering and channel 3 uh, both on reverse right and then you go to where is it where is it steering mix and make that as active and then come out of that and then it still won't work because it's on channel 4 we haven't got channel 4 so you've got to go down to program mix and you have the slave as channel 3 okay and then you put the mode as on and you'll see because if I turn that if I turn mode off it's inactive now right it won't work come on there you go it won't work but if I switch that mode to on so it's active the battery's running out of electric um, but yeah it will work that battery needs to be charged up it was fully charged a minute ago and now it's not but yeah so that's easily enough set it up now we've got fully working steering all I've got to do is button all that up lovely jubbly Oh, you right, you lot? I've been in a wonderful part of the country called Yorkshire for the past four days. Lovely little holiday visiting family and done nothing RC. So, um, just got back and I thought to myself, you know what, let's, uh, let's have a look at this. Now this, for those of you that don't know, is, I'll show you, hang on. Yeah, this is a rather cool little buggy thing buggy, truggy, whatever you want to call it. Oh, battery's charged. It's called a Roven Q Shorty. Really nice truck or car or buggy. Um, took it out the other day, got it really, really dusty, but almost immediately, it was running the nuts, almost immediately after it went in the dust, started running really rough, and I could hear a difference in the sound of the engine, the tone sounded, it went really muffled. For me, in my experience, that's when they suck in a load of dust. They sound different. So, but it started to run quite well at the end of it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure this filter sucked in a load of dust, but let's see if I'm wrong or right. All right or wrong. Um, so let's take the filter off. I'm gonna have to turn it round. I'm gonna go get a screwdriver out. We'll take the filter off and we'll see whether I am right or whether I am wrong. Something I can get the right screwdriver for the job. I'm gonna have to turn it round. I'll put it that way so you can see it, but I need to get to the screw, which is this side. So we'll take it off. And the last time, this is a new air filter for those of you that don't follow this. And this is a new air filter I bought from RC Models. They sell a lot of these. I bought the actual buggy itself from them. Um, the air filter that it's come with, there's a lot of crap. Um, didn't seal around the edge. The design of it was bad. So I bought this one, which is also bad. I thought it was going to be good, but when it turned up, it was bad. And I thought to myself, well, bloody hell, what are they doing? Anyway, let's see whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong. Ah, yeah, I'm right. That hasn't done. See, this hasn't done any amount of filtering whatsoever. What? I'll show you the throat of that carburetor in a minute. Now, my engine now will be somewhat ruined. I don't know whether you can see in there. That should be absolutely spotless. But in there is absolutely filthy. Because this filter's just not up to the job. Let's have a look at this throat now and you'll see. 
By the way, someone had a go at me last time and said that's called a venturi. Um, technically, but that's inside there is the throat. Let's have a look at that. Very, very dusty. That should be absolutely spotless because that's after the filter. And look at that there. All that in there, all absolutely full of dust. That should be spotless. So, this filter is no good. Absolutely no good. And RC models sell these. Where was I? Yeah, sorry, a minion was calling me. Um, a minion, a minion was calling me. Yeah, and RC models sell these. You know, it's nothing against RC models, but people are using these filters, and look at them. That's it's the first out in this filters had. You know, and it's and it's oiled. You can't see that probably, but it is oiled. You know, I oiled it inside and out. I oiled it. Um, but it's, it's just crap. It's just it's, <laughs> don't know what else to say. It's not any good. So now in there, look at that. For those of you that probably can't, might not be able to see that dust, and that's on the inside of the filter. Look, thick dust as well. So inside there now, but it'll be ruined. The carburetor is probably going to be blocked up. The engine itself, although, for those of you that see the video, if you haven't seen the video, go back one or two videos and you'll see when I took this out. And um, it wasn't even major dust. It was just ordinary dust, in my opinion. There was a lot of it, but it's just dust, you know, you get in the summer. And that filter should have coped with that. No problem at all. So I'm pretty shocked and disappointed with that uh, I ain't got a lot of time but let's quickly take off this um, and we'll have a look inside that carb but the engine runs and towards the end of the little run it was starting to run quite well even when it, while it was sucking in a load of dust but it's not going to be much good that engine anymore I imagine it's pretty scored up in there but it was running all right so we'll uh, we'll go with it and keep going running it until it don't run no more but anyway, it's going to need to be cleaned out regardless. Right, let's have a look. What do we need? We we'll have to get some Allen keys out. I ain't got no. Uh, I've lost me. I've managed to lose my set of Allen keys somewhere. So now, there we go. I need an Allen key. I've got to get the big set out. Which is a bit of a pain. I have to get the big set out, which has got this little set in it. Uh, we should have one that fits with any luck. Uh, about that one. Right, yeah, that one fits. Now, you know, I'm not that bothered about this. Well, I am bothered, I, mean, I shouldn't say it like that. But what I mean is, there'd be people out there that are buying these air filters. They're Chinese, they're crap. You know, and I can't believe RC models are selling them, to be fair. Because that's a good shop. They're a very good shop. I've got a lot of respect for them. But they're selling these that just aren't up to the job. People are going to be buying them. And it's ruining their engines, you know. And there's people out there that have got these petrol ones. Because they're scared of nitro. So they buy petrol ones. Because, it's, you know, they think it's less scary. But really, it's just the same. And they'll be buying these filters. Ruining their engines. And then wondering, you know, like, oh, no, they're, they're crap. They don't last long or whatever. It's the filters. It's the filters problem, but they don't know that because they're not mechanically minded. Um, yeah, it's a bad situation here, if you ask me. But right, let's get this off. That's what people do. You see, when people don't realise. See, if you if you go back in the videos, you'll probably find that when I bought that filter and I got it, I said it ain't going to be a little cop, um, but I put it on anyway. And uh, I put it on anyway, and uh, we realised it ain't a lot good at all. Uh, we'll see. Oop, I just dropped it. Yeah, I've cleaned a lot of it off with my hands now, look, but that's filthy, especially on the inside of there. Absolutely filthy. The carburetor itself. Well, let me clean my hands off, and I'll show you. So here's that carb. That's the that's the uh, choke there. Now it's obviously covered, caked. All the dust goes all inside there. I knew it was sucking in dust because you can just tell by the sound and the pitch. All inside there, absolutely caked in it. 
not so bad on that side, but that's because that's on the, uh, you know, the the, uh, the air is going that way in, isn't it? But yeah, let me take it apart. We have a little bit of a closer look. All right, so well, I haven't got any carb cleaner. I've got brake cleaner, but I've got no carb cleaner left. The brake cleaner is at the bottom of the cover, so I'm just going to use this air, and I'm going to blow a lot of dust. I'm not going to disconnect the carb, so I'm not going to move it off because I've messed up all the linkage. But I'm just going to blow the dust off. Let's um, a lot of the dust has already gone in the engine anyway, so it's just it is what it is. Let's dissect this air filter, give it a blow out, give it a bit of a clean. I'm going to put it back on, but I'm going to have to look around for an alternative one. There's loads out there. It's not as if there's none out there. There's loads about. I'm just going to look for a different one. But I will put this back on for now. I'll give it a clean out and just remember not to run it in any dust. I just have to run it on grass and clean things for now. And I'll have to get a better filter. I mean, they used to do really good filters for the um, little two-stroke dirt bikes and um, petrol scooters and things. They were the nuts. They didn't suck in any dust. I mean, these are crap. I mean, there must be a hole in it somewhere or something. But the way they've designed it, all the filters element is stuck to it. You can't take it off to clean it properly. But let's dissect it and I'll show you. Right, hopefully now, let me just uh, adjust the screen so I can see what I'm filming. Hopefully you can see this now. So let's take this out of foam off. Now I did oil this thoroughly from uh, in the inside as well as the outside. You can see the oil in there, maybe you can't, it's a bit dark for you lot, but there is oil in there and you can see that. This is all sticky and that's all oiled. But I don't know how all that dust, it must have, unless it went through the foam, it looks like it has gone through where the foam is stuck to this little rubber collar thing. That's where it looks like it's gone through from looking on the inside. It's a frustrating because you, it's too dark for you to see and I haven't got a sufficient torch. Um, but all the dust is all in there and it's at the back as well, it's everywhere in there. So, you always blow a filter out from the inside out because they're supposed to be designed to not suck in inwards. So, you always um, blow a filter from the inside out. Yeah, there. That's where all the dust has gone in. That's obviously bad. Maybe that's where there wasn't any much oil. But, yeah, that's, uh, the foam that they've used for this filter is rubbish. I know you're probably going to say, well, there's not, there's not there's much oil on that part. The rest of it's got good oil in. This bit looks a bit dry. It has got oil on it. It is oily that part, perhaps not maybe as much as the rest of it, but still you would expect that it wouldn't uh, be as bad as that. But the way that they've designed this is rubbish. I mean, this should be detachable. Um, this should be different. I know you can say if you just slot that on there, there's going to be a seal problem there. Well, there is, isn't there? That's why they've glued it on, probably, to try and mitigate any sealing issues. But trouble is, you can't clean this filter now because it's got a spring in it. I mean, how, how can you clean that? You can't clean it properly, can you? Not very well. Um, so it is a bit of a problem. I think this is, this is just a terrible design of filter. You know, any good filter has a. It should have a, a thing, a cage in there, with a an, a, a wing nut on the end, so you can undo that, slide the foam off of the cage, clean it, slide it back on there. The foam itself should have a rubber seal around it. You slide it on. It seals all around here. This should have a bit of a neck, bit of a collar. You you put the wing nut back on and do it up, nice and tight. And that will squash the foam against this rubber around here, and the cage keeps it in shape. And then you just slide this out or over the top of it there. Much like on a dirt bike. I mean, that's how these filters normally are. 
that's what it should be. This shouldn't be glued on here. I mean, this is silly, absolutely daft. And if I'd have known it was like that, I wouldn't have bought it. This was like 20 odd quid, I think. Anyway, enough moaning about stuff. I'm going to clean it the best I can, stick it back on again, and uh, move on with life. As she what she's going to run like now. Um, I did have a better look inside the engine. It ain't bad. Um, I wouldn't say it was bad at all, to be honest. I'd say it was all right. Um, let's have a look. Let's see. Choke is on, and it probably won't start with the choke on. It's too hot at the moment out here. It will pop. <laughs> uh, you see, you don't. This, these ones don't normally like starting with a choke because it's too hot in this country. lovely I've got no concerns about that at all I'm just disappointed with the filter but there we go I can't wait to take this one out this will be the next one I reckon this is all ready to rock and roll now everything's ready to go so oh man the excitement bloody hell Kill me. right oh you lot I'm out of here I've got a lot to do <laughs> a lot of things to catch up on grass is about 10 feet tall out there I'll see you lot on the next one remember treat everyone equally be nice to everyone, and we'll have a nice, happy life, man. I mean, life's too short for all this bickering and arguing that people seem to be doing these days in the world. Just ignore everyone and have a nice, happy life, or on your own. That's the way to do it. See you later.